All right, here's your typical view in New England. Stone wall, or as far as you can see. Goes all the way down the hill, and all the way up the next. It's gonna be a fun day today. Let's go find something. All right, I'm way, way, way in the woods here, middle of nowhere. Got a uh, low 70 signal, about five inches down. Nice old flat button with shank. That's definitely 1700s. I don't think there's a design on the front. Still a great find though. On to the next. Alright, I'm way, way, way deep in the woods here. Going along this really old and ratty stone wall. And I got like a mid-50 signal. Skeleton key. What the heck a skeleton key is doing here? I have no idea. Maybe there's a home site nearby. You can always hope, I guess. We'll find out. Let's see some more. Alright, I discovered a new stone wall here. This spot I've been doing for a couple of years. Got a couple of iron signals here. Not deep at all. Looks like an iron horse tack buckle. Not a bad find, but not as good as this find. Cowbell. Gotta have more cowbell. I'm gonna be exploring the space with this boy. A lot better than the last one I found. Maybe electrolysis. Citric acid, we'll see. Still got the clapper, which is good. That's always a fun find. Let's get some more. All right, there's a nice old stone wall right there. It's about 60 degrees out. It's gonna rain any minute now. I really have to get out of here, but I got this really heavy iron signal. And I got a buckle spill. I got three buckles and three of those uh, CCRs. Some rivets. Interesting find. Could have been some activity around here. I'll keep looking. Alright. It's a definition of stubborn, I guess. I can see how deep this hole is. I pulled out a couple of square nails, but I kept getting a I think it was a 60 signal. Low 60s. It took a while. I finally got it. It's a little tiny button. Might have a design on the front. Very tiny. Hopefully it's some Rev War button, but I'll clean it up when I get home. On to the next. All right, it's a pretty nice day out. 55 degrees, cloudy. I'm in the middle of the woods, of course. Got a low 70 signal. This is pretty deep, six, seven inches down. Interesting find. Looks like a dandy button with a design on it. It's got a little notch out of it, but I didn't do it. I swear, that was already there. Big old dandy button, interesting design. I'll have to clean it up and figure out exactly what it is. Looks like a flower in the middle, maybe. It's a very good find. Let's get some more. Alright, here's the button all cleaned up. 
It's a nice design on it. Nice flower in the middle. It's actually got three holes in it. It was turned into a wizard toy by some kid in the 1700s. They poke holes in it and you run a string through it and then you spin it. Cheap entertainment, I guess. You see it a lot of time with uh, a large scent. It'll poke three or four holes in it. I don't think I ever saw it with a dandy button. Cool, fine. Let's get some more. Alright, this is fairly close to where I got that uh, dandy button. 72 signal it was. Probably five inches down. Looks like it's an Indian head scent. I see the one scent on the back. Front is too crusty, I'm not going to mess with that. I don't think it's a fatty. Yeah. We'll go with Indian head scent on that one. Let's get some more. Alright, it's about 80 degrees out. Nice day. I'm way, way in the woods. And I got a 77 signal. And this boy was really deep. We're talking probably eight inches. I was thinking maybe button, but it's a lot better than that. Only a shoe buckle. It's got most of the guts. Looks like half the guts are brass and half of iron. It's kind of weird. I don't want to break it here. Definitely a good find. Let's get some more. Come on, keep going. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Uh -huh. 